Hey guys, it's Lizard here, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Glorious Model O to my $10 drag clicking mouse, the Red Dragon M602. If you do end up enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. But yeah, let's get into it. Now we've got a very interesting comparison today. The Glorious Model O is one of the most popular mice in the Minecraft community as a whole, whereas the Red Dragon M602 is a budget mouse from Red Dragon that wasn't even designed to drag click in the first place. Not only in this video am I going to be going over drag clicking, but I'm also going to be going over butterfly, jitter, and normal clicking, as well as how they perform in bridging and PvP. Now let's start things off by talking about price. The Glorious Model O goes for about $60 to $80 depending what country you're in, and the Red Dragon M602 goes from anywhere from $10 to $30. Even with such a notable price gap, there's still a ton to compare about these mice, and they're very similar in many ways. These mice feel very similar in the sense that they have fairly low quality plastic, but still work very well for clicking. Both feel amazing to click in their own ways, but the Model O has a debounce option in its software, which the Red Dragon mouse does not have. This makes it a lot easier for the Model O to double click, which in return gives you more CPS for butterfly and drag clicking. With that being said, the Red Dragon Dragon Mouse is still able to butterfly and drag click similar CPS even though it does not have this option. One important feature about the Red Dragon Mouse is that it's an older version of the same model. The newer mice are designed against double clicking and for that reason you might need to wear down the mouse a lot more out of the box than you would with the older mice. With that being said, the newer mice sometimes are able to drag click but you have to wear it down quite a lot beforehand. So how much CPS can you expect from each mouse? Both the Model O and the Red Dragon Mouse can get about 7 to 10 CPS normal clicking, anywhere from 12 to 18 butterflying, and about 15 to 20 drag clicking. If you've used your mouse for a really long time, then you might be able to click even more as your switches will be very worn down and easy to use. Next up, let's talk about bridging. The Model O, of course, is very popular in the Minecraft community for its ability to do non-shift bridges such as Breezley, Moonwalk, and Gobridge. The Model O consistently gets enough CPS to do any of these methods, but is not great for telebridging due to its small size. On the other hand, the $10 mouse can click a similar amount of CPS, but with less consistency. This means that you will still be able to Breezley bridge, Moonwalk, and Gobridge with the mouse, but with less consistency. The reason for less consistency is due to the fact that the switches were not intended for drag clicking and for some reason they do not always register the amount of CPS they should for drag clicking. Every so often with the Red Dragon mouse you'll see it drop down to about 8 to 10 CPS instead of your usual 12 to 20. When this happens it's a lot harder to keep up with your non-shift bridge and tends to make you fall more often. Overall both of these mice are great for bridging. The only noticeable thing that comes with the Model O's price cap is it's more consistent than the Red Dragon. Next up let's talk about PvP. As previously mentioned the Model O and Red Dragon Mouse can both click about 7 to 10 CPS normal clicking. This means that if you normal click for PvP, you're going to be seeing about the same results with each mouse. The main issue is that each mouse has a very different shape, so you'll feel a lot different in how you have to normal click. The biggest difference for PvP comes with butterfly clicking. Now before I get more in depth about butterfly clicking, I want to mention how each one works. The Model O has very small buttons, and for that reason, when you're butterfly clicking, it's very easy to reach the end of the mouse. This lets the indent of your finger hang over the mouse very easily, which makes it easier to double click. The Red Dragon M602 has slightly longer mouse buttons, which means that you're going to have to hold your hand a little higher up or have longer fingers if you want to be able to double click with ease. The Model O has more consistent double clicks, which means you can average about 18 to 20 CPS if you're good at butterfly clicking, whereas with the Red Dragon, you'll sometimes see that 18 to 20 drop down to below 15. If you're not double clicking for butterfly clicking, you're going to be seeing about the same results of about 12 to 13 CPS. The biggest difference that you're going to be noticing with the Model O is that it has smaller buttons than the M602. This doesn't make that much of a difference. The main things it can impact are how long you can drag click for, as well as how comfortable it is to butterfly click. I feel these mice are very similar when it comes to actually playing games such as Bedwars or Skywars. The reason for this is that each is a fairly light mouse, the clicks are very responsive and feel great, the only downside being the Red Dragon sometimes doesn't register every double click. There's one very important thing that we have to come back to now, and that is the price point. The reason this is important is because the Red Dragon mouse comes at anywhere from $10 to $30, and the Mod Low goes for $60 to $80. This is a very large price difference for two mice that work in very similar ways. The main advantages that come at a higher price are more responsive double clicking, you're also getting a slightly smaller mouse which is great if you have smaller hands, and most importantly if you buy the Model O, you're getting amazing clickbait for your YouTube videos. All jokes aside, is the Model O really worth an extra $30 to $50? My honest answer, which might come as a shock, is no. The Model O is a very good mouse and it does give you a lot of consistent CPS which is great because it really did help me learn how to bridge. The only reason at all I have to say no is because of the price difference. The Red Dragon mouse is just way too cheap to even get compared to the Model O. For $10 to $30, you're getting a very good mouse that will perform very well, and even if you get a newer model that can't gob bridge and double click, you're still going to have a great time using it for PvP and Bedwars in general. If you're looking for a cheap option, the Red Dragon M602 definitely has all the features there. 
With all of that being said, if the price is not a concern for you, the Modelo is probably a better option if you're looking to get into bridging. At the end of the day, the whole point of me doing a comparison is to find the tiny little flaws and differences that each mouse has from the other. Both of these mice will allow you to do very fast non-shift bridges, but if you're looking to telebridge, I do not recommend either of these mice. If you're only really interested in the PvP aspect of each mouse, the Red Dragon M602 I'd probably still recommend overall. And with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video, so consider subscribing, join the Discord server down below, and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye. Bye.